Two. Nor Christidi is a junior at the American University in Washington, D.C. She says she leads an active campus life. Attitude, swing. Noor, who is from Lebanon, is spending this year in the U.S. She came a few months ago, and July's Israeli offensive in southern Lebanon is still fresh in her mind. She says it was hard to leave her family. Yeah, most people were shocked. They're like, how can you go after everything that has happened? It's like you're, you're a traitor, you know? I don't know. But I, I, thought it was, I thought it was important. And especially after I got here, I realized how important it was to come here. Noor is one of nearly 565,000 international students studying in the U.S. The Institute of International Education, or IIE, keeps track of them. In a new report, the group says student levels are holding steady for the first time since 2002. It also says more international students are enrolling in the U.S. I would never be able to meet so many international students back home. It's just incredible. I've met people from India, from, from Sweden, from Mexico, from all over the world, and it's, it's just amazing. India continues to send the most students, <laughs> followed by China and South Korea. Business also continues to be the leading course of study. Song Min Lee is from South Korea. He says the mix of cultures offered in Washington, especially in business, was the reason he chose to study here. If you don't go to the Middle East, if you don't go to Europe, you can meet European, you can meet people in Middle Asia right here in the U.S. This year especially saw an increase in Middle Eastern students due to programs like Saudi government scholarships. Alan Goodman is the IIE's president. He says only about 150 U.S. campuses host one half of the total international students. He would like to see more colleges participate. International students bring a huge and valuable dimension to America. Most Americans don't have a passport. Most Americans don't travel abroad. But more U.S. students are choosing to study abroad. This year shows a trend away from Europe and toward non-traditional countries like China, Argentina, Brazil, and India. Goodman says this should continue. Because more and more of the world is affecting how we live, how we uh, create our economy, where we create our jobs, where we create our business. Goodman says the U.S. government and universities strive to create a welcoming atmosphere for all students. No matter where they go in the United States, they will find a family, a friend, a mosque, a, a church, a temple to worship at. They'll be welcome as students, they'll be welcome as young citizens, they'll be welcome as, as people. And Noor agrees. She cautions future exchange students from making the mistake of associating only with people from their own countries. That's not the point of coming. I would definitely advise them to come, meet American people, try to listen to the other side and keep an open mind and stay positive and definitely voice your opinion. Like it's really important to do that. Noor says it is this exchange of cultures that a student ultimately takes away from the experience. Sean Maroney, VOA News.